From time to time, you might want to make changes to a generic report that comes with PyWeb in order to better reflect your company. For example, including a company logo or including some different text. So in this example, what we're going to do is actually modify the pre-canned PPAP form that comes with PyWeb. So what I can do in, my, in PyWeb Reporter is open up the report and then I'm going to go to the master page and what we're going to do is include a company logo and also make some modifications to this generic header. The first thing that I want to do is instead of call this first article inspection data sheet, I just want to call this an FAIR, which is common in some industries. So what I'll do is first start by modifying the text. And we can further modify the text by going to our property tabs. For example, if we want to change the size of the text or the font or change it to a bold setting. So I can go ahead and click bold and then we'll see that our report title has changed. If we would like to add an object such as a image, we'll go to our toolbox where all of our tools are included, and then we'll simply drag an image into our report, right click, and then load an image. And then we can point to our company logo. Simply drag it to where you want it and resize it. And once we have it included on the page, this will show up on every subsequent page since this is our master page. Also, these particular variables for our application are not important. So if we would like to, we can just highlight the variables that we do not want and then simply delete them. And then we'll see that on our subsequent page, we'll simply have the remaining variables and this is what will show up on the entire report. So now we can save this report as something that uh, is more meaningful to us. We'll call it my PPAP. And then this report will be available to use and monitor as a generic report. So we can tie this report to any one of our inspection results files. So we load our new generic report, click on our particular measurement plan, click update, and then we'll see our new report populate with the data that is available. Even if the data is missing from the table, it will populate all the data that is available from the database.